Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about characteristics of power IGBT. Friends, we all discussed about the construction and the circuit diagram of a power IGBT and we also discussed in detail about the internal construction principle and the internal equivalent circuit of a power IGBT. So today we are going to discuss about the characteristics of a power IGBT. So friends, if we directly draw the characteristics curve or the characteristics graph of a power IGBT, which looks exactly like this. So friends, let's say the characteristics of a power IGBT is defined as the rate of change of collector current with respect to the collector emitter voltage. Now, if we connect the collector and emitter terminal to an external voltage source and we apply some gate voltage to the gate source terminal, then the collector current starts flowing in the circuit or through the power IGBT. And if we monitor the collector current with change in the collector emitter voltage, the curve of the collector current looks like this. So friends, as you all can see, with increase in the collector emitter voltage, which is VCE, let's say, let be the point is P, and let this point be O. So up to a point P, there is no flow of collector current. That means the power IGPT does not conduct the flow of electric current. So here friends, even if I'm increasing the collector emitter voltage, there is no flow of collector current. That means the collector emitter voltage has to be greater than the threshold voltage. So the point P is called VC. Or we can also say the point P is VT where, so I just differentiate between this terminal and this terminal. So VT is called the threshold voltage. That means threshold voltage is the value of collector emitter voltage at which the collector current starts flowing through the circuit or the power IGPT starts conducting. Now, if we look at the first part of the curve, after the point P, the collector current slightly starts increasing when the collector or the when the power IGPT is in on state for a specific value of the collector emitter voltage, let's this point be Q. At a point Q where the collector emitter voltage exceeds the threshold voltage and reaches at a certain value, the device is completely on and the collector current becomes constant and flow through the circuit. So let's say this is VGS1, that means voltage of gate supply. So let's say this is VG2, VG3, VG4, and VG5. VG is nothing but the gate emitter voltage. As we all know, we need a gate emitter voltage supply so that for a specific gate supply with respect to the emitter, the power IGBT starts conducting the flow of electric current and the current flowing through the power IGBT is the collector current. So friends, here let VGS1 is the voltage across the gate supply that means the gate emitter voltage that means whenever we are supplying a specific gate voltage with respect to an emitter or voltage gate emitter voltage and we are connecting the collector and the emitter terminal to an external supply the power IGPT starts conducting electricity or electric current now friends if you can see for a specific value of the gate emitter voltage, which is VGS1, V gate supply, the value of collector current is, let's say, this one, which is constant after a point Q. If we further increase the gate emitter voltage, which is VG2, that means the collector current increases. Initially, there is no flow of collector current. 
after the collector emitter voltage crosses the threshold the emitter or the collector current slowly increases to a specific point after which the device becomes turned on the device turns on and after that there is a collector current which is constantly flows throughout the device or throughout the electric circuit again if we further increase the gate emitter voltage let's say vg3 the same process continues for g for this curve vg4 is the gate emitter voltage which is greater than vg3 vg2 and vgs1 again the value of the collector current becomes more again the same goes for vg5 so here in this circuit we can directly write here So, the gate emitter voltage at 5 is greater than the gate emitter voltage at 4, which is greater than the gate emitter voltage at 3, and which is greater than the gate emitter voltage at 2. So, friends, if we summarize the characteristics of a power IGBT, we can see that the characteristics of a power IGBT can be drawn by varying the collector emitter voltage and by monitoring the value of the collector current for specific values of collector emitter voltages but the condition is we have to maintain a specific gate emitter voltage because of which the power igbt starts conducting electric current and we saw that after we increased the collector emitter voltage beyond the threshold voltage the collector current starts flowing slowly and it reaches to a value and after that if we further increase the collector emitter voltage the collector current becomes constant and the device comes to a switched on position or the device becomes on it allow the flow of a constant collector current through the circuit and through the device itself and we further notice that if we keep on increasing the gate emitter voltage then the value of the collector current after saturation becomes constant and it remains the same throughout the circuit that means for a specific gate emitter voltage after a certain value of the collector emitter voltage the collector current becomes constant and the device turns on again if we further increase the gate emitter voltage then again the value of the ic increases or the value of the collector current keeps on increasing so friends, this is all about the power IGBT characteristics. Thank you so much for watching this video friends. Please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.